This is the part 2 of how to make a single point attractor in Revit without using the Dynamo. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick 5 reference points as shown. Select this 4 reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this 2 reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select set work plane. Set this plane. Dimensions. Select this plane. And select this reference point. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Ignore and close the warning. Select the line. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Select set work plane. Set this plane. Draw a circle. Select the circle. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Select the circle. Then select create form. Select the cylinder. Select the top surface. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor. Select instance. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. And let's link the diameter parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. And let's link the thickness parameter same with the diameter parameter. Apply. OK. Let's move the attractor and check the cylinder. Perfect. Uncheck Shared. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Cylinder Attractor. Save the family. Next. Open a new family. And select Metric Generic Model Pattern Based. Select Point Element. Select Set Work Plane. Set this plane. Pick Reference Point. Select the Reference Point. And Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Name it. Attractor Distance. OK. OK. Go to Family Types. 
change the attractor distance to 1000 mm. OK. Then select this four reference lines. Then select create form. Select the surface. Press tab to cycle the selection. Select the surface. Select divide surface. Go to properties. Go to U grid number and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. U grid. OK. OK. Go to V grid number and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. V grid. OK. OK. Select the divide surface. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go back to adaptive cylinder. Then check always vertical. Save the family. Load into project and close. Pick the four points as shown. And this last reference point for the attractor. Select the cylinder. Then select the repeat. Perfect. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Name it. Attractor divisor. Type of parameter select integer. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. OK. Press tab to cycle the selection. Select the cylinder. Attractor divisor. Associate family parameter. Select Attractor Divisor. OK. Perfect. Let's test the parameters. Change the Attractor Distance value to 600 mm. Apply. Perfect. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 20. Apply. Perfect. Now let's try to change the U grid and V grid number to 12. Apply. Perfect. OK. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Cylinder Corner Attractor. Save the family. Load into project and close. Let's try to apply into the wall. Go to level 1. Let's create a reference plane to host the family. Let's add a name for the reference plane. Go to section. Go to Massing and Site. Then turn on Show Mass. Then select In Place Mass. OK. Set Work Plane. Then specify the name in the list. OK. Select Rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Select the rectangle. Then check his reference line. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the V Grid and U Grid number to 1. Select the Pattern. And select the Adaptive Cylinder Corner Attractor. Go to 3D. Now we have this Parametric Adaptive Component with Single Point Attractor. Go to Edit Type. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 30. And change the U Grid to 20 and V Grid to 10. Apply. OK. Perfect. Finish the mass. 
That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.